No Secrets, also known co-equally as Adult Safeguarding, is a UK government publication from the Department of Health which provides guidance on developing and implementing multi-agency policies and procedures to protect adults at risk from harm abuse. The Department of Health website states that this document gives guidance to local agencies who have a responsibility to investigate and take action when a vulnerable adult is believed to be suffering abuse. It offers a structure and content for the development of local interagency policies, procedures and joint protocols which will draw on good practice nationally and locally. History of No Secrets The No Secrets and In Safe Hands documents were issued as guidance in 2000, under Section 7 of the Local Authority Social Services Act 1970. Section 7 guidance does not carry the same status as legislation. Instead local authorities have their compliance assessed as part of a statutory inspection process. With a Euro good reason a Euro unregistered trademark a local authority can ignore such guidance, but may be called to justify their actions on judicial review. When a referral is made to the local authority under adult protection slash safeguarding, the case is allocated to a qualified social worker or specially trained care manager to undertake and investigate the allegation of abuse. The investigation can be a single agency led investigation, often led by the social worker or care manager or multi agency led either with another statutory body such as the police, trading standards, or a healthcare professional. Training of safeguarding social workers There is no current national guidance or minimal standards relating to the training of social workers in the UK who investigate adult protection slash adult safeguarding matters. However, in 2011, Kiel University developed a master's degree in adult safeguarding. The MA in Safeguarding Adults, Law, Policy and Practices offered by the School of Law. Recent Adult Protection Failures There have been several notable cases where severe harm and even death have occurred as a result of local agencies not acting in accordance with the No Secrets guidelines such as the murder of a young man with learning difficulties. The Cornwall Adult Protection Committee serious case review into Mr. Hoskins' death referred to no secret saying, What is striking about the responses of services to Steven a Euro unregistered trademark s circumstances is that each agency focused on single issues within their own sectional remits and did not make the connections deemed necessary for the protection of vulnerable adults and proposed by no secrets. Reasons for such failures, the main reason for these and other failings, Stafford Hospital scandal, Margaret Panting, are the fact that these are the only government documents addressing the development of multidisciplinary structures for adult protection, and they are only guidelines. Although the Association of Directors of Social Services brought out what was essentially a best practice guide called a Euro Safeguarding Adults in 2005, existing legislation only relates to paid social care. The majority of abuse happens in FIOPLI Euro unregistered trademark s own homes, often perpetrated by family, friends or neighbors. The majority of elder abuse occurs within the community, and specifically within FIOPLI Euro unregistered trademark s own homes and is often perpetrated by family members and relatives. In legislative terms however the primary thrust of government protective policy has focused upon the much smaller number of people in receipt of social care and this has been regulated primarily through the Care Standards Act 2000 and more latterly the Safeguarding Vulnerable Groups Act 2006. Abuse within the community, unless perpetrated by paid domiciliary workers, is addressed through the No Secrets Guidance. Equals more reasons for failure equals, the guidance has been effective in facilitating the creation of some form of adult protection system in all local authority areas, it has failed to deliver on a number of important issues, e.g. there is a lack of consistency and quality across areas in terms of the construction and level of adult protection systems provided, there is variable collaboration across statutory agencies, there are significant funding and staffing deficiencies in many areas, there is no consistency in the timing and duration of investigations, and there is no power to ensure access to victims, or to ensure safe outcomes. Lack of legislative underpinning Major reason for the inconsistent application of the A Euro No Secrets A Euro Unregistered Trademark Guidance. Organizations and individuals firstly do what is legally required of them, 
and only as a secondary activity consider those matters that fall into the category of AA Euro statutory power a Euro unregistered trademark that is what they are authorized but not compelled to do. It is argued that there is insufficient funding, and adult protection work minimal. Some statutory agencies may invest what is necessary to maintain a skeleton response, with other agencies perceiving the work to be optional. Equals final criticisms and a proposed way forward equals, another criticism is personalization empowering FIOPLI Euro unregistered trademark S choice and control over care through the provision of direct payments or individual budgets a Euro no effective safeguards being pre-planned or proposed by accepting a personalization package someone loses the automatic safeguards of the Care Standards Act 2000 and the Safeguarding Vulnerable Groups Act 2006 systems become optional. There are still many discrepancies with some agencies providing clear policies and procedures and others only functioning at a very basic level. There is an amendment to the guidelines due to be published in September 2010. What is hoped for by many agencies, is, 1. A statute for adult protection committees, 2. A duty on agencies to collaborate, actively participate at a senior level in committees, and work together, 3. A duty on agencies to share information. 4. The right to access the adult at risk, without obstruction and data to inform policy planning. 5. Adequate funding for adult protection work. References. External links, no secrets documentation at the Department of Health.